Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here back with another episode of the No Money Spent Road to Glory, the second episode of this of the day. And if you missed the first one, you really do need to go ahead and check it out. I managed to get myself to 11 and 0 in my team Unlimited, and that was the final 12th game. I'm not going to spoil it just for a minute, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch that video first. But in today's video, as you can see on your screen, glitched Galaxy Opal with speed boosting, three point shooting, Hall of Fame at Ranger Extender, Shaq is in the game. We've also got an Opal Lonzo. We have got a Pink Diamond Andrew, Wig Andrew? Andrew Wiggins. Ben Wallace glitched as well. And there's a couple of other nice players in there as well. So that is crazy. We're expecting some big content today. But I don't think anybody expected to see the three-point speed boosting Shaq at this point in the game. Last year's, obviously the infamous one that everyone had at the um, point guard position. That one came out at the end of June. And this one has come out at the start of April. So that is an absolute madness. So we're going to come down here and get ourselves a couple of free tokens. Obviously, we're going to pick Shaq on that. And that gets us another two tokens. As we are nearly at 475, which is very nice. So we are creeping up to having enough for another Galaxy Opal, which is pretty cool. But at this point in the game, none of those Galaxy Opals are even going to make my squad, which is crazy. Uh, they've also updated the limited time events. So the Pink Diamond Billy Cunningham, he is gone. If you didn't get him, he is no longer available. But they have gone ahead and chucked up loads of the old Diamond cards. And they are on boards all the way through the weekend until Monday. So that's pretty cool. So we've got Rex Chapman, Danny Green and Zion as the three cards there. But as you can see, it does say and more. Now, I don't know exactly who those other cards are, but I do know one of them is the Diamond Cliff Hagen. But out of those three cards that are right there, I would really like to get that Rex Chapman and Danny Green. We've already got Zion, so we don't really want him. And if we come down here to the Diamond Rewards section and just see who else might be on the boards. Um, so we've got people like the Rex Chapman, maybe someone like... I'm trying to see who was from a locker code rather than just a reward in the game. Ron Harper, was he a locker code? I can't even remember, to be fair. Some of these names are just completely lost on me. Um, but yeah, still pretty cool that they are updating the Triple Threat online boards. Think back a couple of weeks ago when they didn't even add any players on for like months. It's good to see that they're actually listening to us and giving us some content to play with. So over to the auction house, and I've picked up 20 gold contracts, and I would strongly recommend you guys to do the same thing. I was picking them up for 400 MT, and the reason I've been able to do that is because, of course, these new packs are out. Everyone is pulling them. Everyone is pulling contracts, and everyone is listing them for very cheap. So all 20 of those, I would say on average, I was getting them for about 350 MT, which if you guys know um, how expensive gold contracts are usually, that is a big, big W. Usually they're up at like 600 MT. And of course, if you want to actually buy contracts with MT on your players, Diamond, con Diamond players cost 500 for five games. Galaxy Opals cost 600 for five games. So it's definitely better to go ahead and buy these contracts. And I'll definitely recommend you guys to um, stack up like I have done on these. And if you can't get gold ones, because for some reason, as I want to demonstrate it, of course, there's none up on the auction house, which is just absolutely typical. Go for silver ones. Silver get, still give plus four boosts, which is still very nice. And if you can get them for about 300, I would still say that is a W. All right, you know what? Don't worry about it. We'll go down to the silvers. And there you go. There's loads up. 250 for silver contracts. That is ridiculous. I'm definitely going to be having some of that. So you should never really want to buy contracts when they are expensive or use MT to buy contracts. You always want to make sure you have enough in your clubs. There we go. Buy out all of those. Why not? And give one more try on the gold. And there we go. We get a gold one for 400. So they do pop up, which is very, very nice. So we come over and, uh, yeah, like I said, we packed. Okay, I didn't say, but I'm going to spoil it now. We did manage to go ahead and go 12 0. Obviously, as you can see, we have got Will Chamberlain sitting right there. So it was a long old grind. This month, we have won 31 games of My Team Unlimited. Uh, but of course, we got the big one that we needed in the last episode, which was a big W. So now, when we put in Will here. Where on earth does he fit in this squad? I mean, I think it shows that um, a couple of people can be sold off. So I think Wilt Chamberlain is going to come into the starting lineup down here. And then uh, Bol Bol, I'm looking at selling you as well, realistically. And then off the bench right here, we've still got, I mean, we've still got three Galaxy Opals in the club, which is crazy. So I think Brandon Roy can come in and then we move these guys down like this. And I still think that is a absolutely fantastic lineup. Maybe a little bit undersized on the bench, sure. Um, but Dino Raja still comes in at 6 foot 11, so he's not tiny. Uh, and then, of course, we do have Wilt as our giant if needed. So Wilt Chamberlain comes in with 38 Hall of Fame badges, including plenty of defending ones, obviously, but plenty of shooting ones 
as well, which is very nice. Rebound chaser down there, contact finisher. And then gold badges, he does have diamond, quick draw, a lot of other shooting badges down there. Obviously, at the moment, they're giving everyone range extender, so I guess that's the only thing he doesn't really have. And in terms of his stats, he does have the 74 three ball with the coach. That gets boosted to 78, and we might put a shoe on him today. Ball control at 83 is very nice. Obviously, defending is ridiculous speed-wise. 85 speed with the ball on a Wilt Chamberlain card. That is just an absolute joke. So I think the fact we've got him untradeable, we might as well save up 400 or so KMT that we will be able to get for Kareem. So this is what the squad is going to be looking at, uh, looking like for the time being. Of course, now I've gone 12-0, I'll happily start using this team again in Unlimited. So we'll be getting you guys some gameplay with some of these cards. I definitely want to do a gameplay dedicated to this guy right here, Galaxy Opal Tracy McGrady. Let's just have a quick look at the market before we jump into the um, new packs. So our Galaxy Opal Kareem at the moment is still selling for about 400k, which is pretty nice, but probably going to wait like a week or so, or maybe just over the weekend we'll get him sold just for the hype of Shaq to die down and people will hopefully realise that they can't afford Shaq and they're going to have to go out and buy back their Kareem. Next up, we've got Tracy McGrady, looking like he's pushing 500k right now, which is nice. Again, a couple of days, he should start to fly back up in price. And Galaxy Opal Magic... Why is that one sold for 480k? That's insane. Okay, so I think he has gone up in price. Is that a three-point shoe on him? It's not. What have you done there? What absolute idiot has spent that? I don't know. So looks like he's about 350k. Again, I definitely expect to see him back at 400k over the weekend. And then over here, we've got our Bol Bol, who is back at 300-ish k. Uh, and again, if he pushes like 350, definitely going to go ahead and get him sold. And other than that, there's not really anybody else I'm looking to sell. AK, very, very happy with having him in the squad. Don't really want to... um offload him so that brings us over to flash pack and number five and it is another set that locks in for 200 tokens which again at this stage of the game is completely irrelevant completely irrelevant like i said we are coming uh, coming along slowly to getting another galaxy opal out of here but um none of them none of them i want realistically they're not going to make my squad tim duncan are you going to get in over josh smith at the powerful position no are you going to get in over wilt at the center position no uh, and then other than that, that's basically it. Like Bradley Beal at the shooting guard position, no. And then the other ones are all, all outdated. So, yeah, that does kind of suck that um, tokens are so irrelevant. But it's just the fact they've put so many incredible cards into packs that it just makes that token market completely obsolete. So, first off, first off, first off in these packs, we have got an Amethyst Mo Bamba. I'm not going to lie, I have seen his stats already and I already want to buy this card. So, we're just going to have a quick little look here how much he is selling for. But... I can definitely tell you guys, over the next couple of days, he will be down at like one to 2,000 MT. It always happens with the Amethyst. Um, okay, so he's actually up, or maybe we just can't search for him. Let's um, let's search for him for a different way. So Flash 5, Center, and Amethyst. I'll be very surprised if he is over 4,000 MT, to be fair. Uh, and he is. Okay, you know what? Fair play. We can't argue with that. But over the next couple of days, he will become very, very cheap. He's in packs with Galaxy Opal Shaq and Galaxy Opal Lonzo. So he's going to get packed a ridiculous, ridiculous amount. But this card is so, so good. So we can compare him to our Wilt Chamberlain, which hurts me to say. Because I spent so many hours getting that Wilt Chamberlain. And then they drop an Amethyst card, which is insane. So he comes in with 17 Hall of Fame badges. We've got Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist and Quick Draw, which is very nice. He's got Flexible Release on there as well. He does have Rebound Chaser and Intimidator, so he's got two very important badges, defensive ones at the Hall of Fame level. Defensive Leader, he's got Clamps, he's got consist Consistent Finisher, Quick First Step, and he does have Range Extender as well. Right, in terms of his stats, 84 Driving Layout with a 70 Driving Dunk. So Driving Dunk isn't incredible, but he does have the 89 mid and the 89 free, which is very nice. So not a bad card at all so far. Defensively, 92 perimeter D. No, 92 interior D and 98 block. The same as Wilt Chamberlain's. Obviously, he doesn't have the ball control. He has got really good rebounding, though, and he does have 90 speed, 90 acceleration. 79 lateral quickness is quite low, but 90 speed is very nice. So I'm not going to lie. Oh, actually, there's an important stat down here that I just glossed over. So strength is 60. That is painful. So you really can't play this card at the center position. But at the power four position, seven foot tall with the wingspan that this guy has, with the shooting he has, at the power four position, this card could be really, really nice. So I might pick him up at some point to try him out. But um, yeah, not at the center position. Definitely one for the power four position. Next up, we have got a Diamond Ray Allen who comes in with less Hall of Fame badges than uh, the Mo Bamba, which just doesn't make any sense. But he comes in with 15 Hall of Fame and 34 gold badges. So 
quite a few, and I can only imagine that he does have pretty much every shooting badge at the Hall of Fame level. He does, and he does have Hall of Fame clamps as well, which is nice. We've got Gold Intimidator on him, defensive leader. Uh, we come down here, handles for days, quick first step, which is very nice. Deep fades as well, and then some more shooting badges. In terms of his stats, 85 driving layup, 75 driving dunk, so not the best at driving realistically. But he does have the 89 mid, which again should be a little bit higher. 95 three ball though, which is good. He can speed boost. Defensively, 84, it's not incredible, but it's okay. And then 90 speed. So compared to some of the other cards that are out here at the moment, this card really isn't anything special. I mean, we can compare him to Amethyst Lance Stevenson. No joke. And uh, Lance is just better, isn't he? Like, Lance is just better in pretty much every single stat, apart from the three-pointer and post moves. And he only has six less Hall of Fame badges. So Ray Allen, for me, is a hard swerve. Lance Stevenson, Amethyst, can do the job that he can do. Next up, we have got a pink diamond, Andrew Wiggins, coming in at the um, small forward position. So who can we compare him to? Uh, we'll compare him to our RJ Barrett right here. 30 Hall of Fame badges for Andrew Wiggins, coming in with catch and shoot. He has got green machine, flexible release. I'm expecting to see a lot of shooting ones, which I am. He's also got clamps and intimidator, which is very nice. Defensive leader, quick first step as well. Okay, so his badges are actually really damn nice. He's got range extender, quick draw, and hot start down there as well. So he's got the 95 driving lap with a 99 driving dunk. 92 mid, 93. He can speed boost. 97 perimeter D and 97 steel. No rebounding, but 94 speed and 97 lateral quickness. Not going to lie, guys. This card looks incredible. And you can play him at the shooting guard position as well. Actually, we can compare him to our Cam Reddish right here. Six for eight, both on these guys. Both small forward shooting guard positions. And at the moment, I actually use that Cam Reddish at my backup shooting guard position until we just moved it around a minute ago. But you know what I mean, before this uh, move today. So these guys are very comparable. Defensively, Andrew Wiggins, big time, plus 25 on the block, which is big. Other than that, very, very similar. And of course, uh, Wiggins has the badge advantage over Cam Reddish. So looking like a very, very solid card, not gonna lie. And again, he will be dirt cheap. I saw one there with a bid of uh, 90K on him, but chances are he is gonna be cheaper than that already. Let's come down here to a buy now. He's definitely going to be a buy now. And I can see this card selling for probably like 50 to 60k. And I think for that price, I think he's going to be a really good... I mean, look at that. He's already 60k. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Are we under 40k? We are. Wow. How cheap is this card? This card is really, really good. Let's bring this down to... He's not under 40k. He is just about... Wow. I'm not going to lie. I think that's a pretty good investment right there. Oh, there's so many up though. There's so many up. But again, though, for a 6 for 8 shooting guard or small forward, with these stats, there's nothing he can't do. That is a really, really good card, not going to lie. So I think we might try and snipe one here just for a minute. And if we do see one come up, because there's so many at the 40k mark. So if we can get one for like 35k, I think that would be a massive W. Loads for 38 right there. Let's just have a little look here and see if we can get lucky and get one to pop up for like 35k. Okay, 37k, you know what? I'm not mad at that. 37,000 MT. For that card, I think that is such a W. It is incredible. So we come all the way down here. Andrew Wiggins, 37,000 37, MT. I think that's a fantastic price for him, not going to lie. And we'll definitely get some gameplay with him over the next couple of days. So pretty damn cool in terms of Wiggins. Right, next up, we have got a pink diamond, Michael Red, with 37 Hall of Fame badges. That's insane, of course. Perfect comparison in terms of our Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy. Same height, same age, basically the same weight. 99 offense, 99 defense. 37 Hall of Fame badges on a pink diamond, 21 on a Galaxy Opal. You hate to see it. Right, Michael Red comes in with catch and shoot corner specialist. He's going to have all of the shooting badges. He does have clamps as well, which is nice. A little bit of defensive uh, badges on him, which is good. But loads of shooting ones. He's got quick first step on him as well, which is good. And then gold badges. He does have intimidator, dimer. And floor general, very nice. In terms of his stats, 94 driving lap, 85 driving dunk. So Brandon Roy definitely has the stat advantage up here in the offensive category. And in the passing as well. Defensively, very, very similar. Rebounding uh, goes to Roy again. Uh, but speed-wise, yeah, again, very, very similar. So Michael Red is still going to be a fantastic card. If you haven't grinded out for this Brandon Roy, this Michael Red card is a perfect, perfect replacement for you. And again, there's no way he's going to be selling for 100,000 MT. To be fair, he's probably worth it, but he will be down at like, I don't know, 60 to 70k again. Very similar to um, my expectations of Wiggins, but again, this card has 37 Hall of Fame badges. So, wow, even he is probably going to be like 40k. That is crazy. 
bring this all the way down to 46k so he is a little bit more expensive as you might expect but still going to be very very cheap over the next couple of days that brings us on to the first galaxy opal from these packs and it is going to be lonzo ball so of course he has had a diamond at one point this year and i did use that diamond and i just did not like the jump shot on him but you know what, this one might have Hall of Fame quick draw, we'll have a see in a second. So 41 Hall of Fame badges and 19 gold, so very comparable to Luka Doncic right here. And of course they are very similar in height as well, 6'6 six six against 6'7. Six so Zoe comes in with catch and shoot, floor general, range extender. He does have Hall of Fame quick draw, now I'm not sure if his diamond had Hall of Fame quick draw. Be interested to see on that, because if it is both with Hall of Fame, then this release is still got, not going to be very good in my opinion. He's got Diamond, Hot Zone, Hunter, Green Machine, Clamps, Defensive Leader, Intimidator, Deadeye. It is going to be an incredible, incredible card. Um, we come down here, Gold Badge, he's got Corner Specialist, Angle Breaker, etc. In terms of the stats, 98 Driving Layup with a 97 Driving Dunk, 89 Mid, 96 3. Ridiculous passing, ridiculous defensive stats, a little bit of rebounding, and crazy good speed. So comparing him to the Luka, not going to lie, he on paper he is better than the Luka Doncic card just because of the plus 9 on the steel and perimeter D. I think that's big, uh, and a plus 8 on the vertical as well, and plus 6 lateral quickness. That's also very nice, but like I said, the lack of jump shot with him is going to be a problem. I'm trying to remember where Diamond Lonzo Ball came from, and I think he might have been over here somewhere. You know what? I can't remember. So we're just going to go ahead and search for him from here. And he was a leap year pack. That's what he was from. So this one does have Hall of Fame quick draw. So straight away, I'm going to say that Galaxy Opal Luca is not worth it because his jump shot will still be a problem. That brings us on to the two glitch players, the two new glitch players. Uh, of course, you know, they will get to the shack in a second. That card is going to be ridiculous. But first off, we have got a Ben Wallace. And I'll be surprised if this card is not a buyout um let's go ahead and take a look first one's got a bit of 170k and he is still over 100k okay that's surprising i didn't think he'd be that expensive but this card is ridiculous again absolutely ridiculous but again why has he got 27 hall of fame when michael red had 37 makes no sense but anyway so he is six foot nine obviously he's glitched so his positions are small forward or power forward so you can definitely go away with playing him in either of those positions. 27 Hall of Fame and 27, uh, 24 gold badges. We've got catch and shoot, corner specialist, quick draw, quick first step, quick chase down artist, clamps. Obviously, he's going to have all of the defensive badges. It's a Ben Wallace card after all. And then gold badges, he's got dimer, he's got a couple of shooting badges, he's got range extender, he's got floor general. And in terms of his stats, we've got an 87 driving layout with an 85 driving dunk. So driving is not incredible. Mid range, 80. Quite low, but 92 three ball again with the um, range extender. He can speed boost defensively. Obviously, he's going to be insane. Same with the speed and same with the rebounding. So, as you can see, we're comparing him to our James Worthy. Uh, James Worthy is still the better player out of the two just because the offensive threat he brings. But Ben Wallace defensively is going to be absolutely incredible. Is he worth this much? I'm not sure on that one, but still a ridiculous card. And that brings us on to the final player, the latest player to be added into the game. Galaxy Opal Shack, and the first one is looking like it's selling. I have one and a half million MT, and I can't even bid on this. That's how crazy the market is right now. So, um, yeah, Galaxy Opal Shack comes in with, I mean, compare him to uh, Will Chamberlain right here 42 gold badges, 25, uh, no, 42 Hall of Fame, 25 gold, so 67 badges in total. There's only 75 in the game, and one of those is Steady Shooter, so he's only won that one. So, out of a possible 74, he's got 67. That is ridiculous. So, Shaq has Brick Wall Hall of Fame, Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist. We come down here and we've got Range Extender. Range Extender Hall of Fame on Shaq. Quick Draw as well. I mean, Quick First Step, Clamps, Intimidator, obviously. He's going to have all the defensive badges, but the fact he's got Range Extender and Quick Draw is a madness. He's got Dead Eye on Gold as well. He's got Dimer. Uh, it is incredible. So, let's have a look right here. So, 97 Driving Lap, 98 Driving Dunk. So, Everything up here is pretty comparable to Wilt, but he's got the 93-point shot. Again, passing pretty comparable, defensively pretty comparable, rebounding very similar, and speed, or all athleticism, pretty much identical. So I'm not too mad about this Shaq coming out, but the fact he's got Hall of Fame range with a 93-pointer is insane. Is he worth 1.5 million? No, because no card is worth 1.5 million MT, but very happy with picking up the uh, Pink Diamond Andrew Wiggins. Is he going to make my main squad? I mean, to be fair, we could put him here at the backup small forward position in place of Cam Reddish. I might look at doing that. It depends on his release, uh, which we will see over the next couple of days. But um, I think over the weekend, we will be getting uh, Kareem sold and getting a bit more MT back into the club. So if we wanted to, 
we could go ahead and buy Shaq. But um, realistically, I don't think we need him. Uh, and obviously, we've got Will Chamberlain, who is exactly the same, just doesn't have the three-point shot and doesn't have the Hall of Fame range extender, which would be very nice. So, they are the new cards today. Let me know down below, guys, what you think and... Uh, who you're going to be going for? Are you going to try and pick up the Shack? Do you have the MT to pick up the Shack? I'll be very surprised if you guys do because one and a half million is a madness. But he should settle, and he'll probably settle at around 750k. Would be my early guess for him. Maybe a little bit more than that. Um, but he will come down a little bit more and probably come down down to about 600k over the coming weeks. Right, let's jump into some comments. I still can't believe that Shaq card. Let's jump into some comments from yesterday's video because again, I had so many. I have replied to most of them in a message but i will get a couple on here in the video so first up we've got patrick i sold my opal kd for 565 kmt massive w and with the mt i bought opal magic for 280k and bol bol for 240k is this a w yes and when should i wait uh, and what price should i wait to sell magic and bol bol back magic should go up to about 400k and bol bol should easily be up, up, up over 300k maybe pushing 350k i'm not sure on that one next up michael hey jd when will the next i rate your squad episode be it'll be over the weekend definitely we'll be getting another episode out of that because you guys absolutely love the first one i didn't think it was going to go down that well but you guys smashed the support on it so definitely going to be getting another episode of that and there's going to be another episode of the you pick i play series as well next up we have got brendan i've got galaxy Apple magic for 250k is that a good deal yes it is should i wait to resell him absolutely wait a week or so and they should go back to their prices that they were at before these promo packs came out. Next up, Joshua sold Galaxy Opal Kareem for 500k W or L. Definitely, definitely a W. John says, I picked up three Diamond Lonzo balls for 13k as an investment. Is that a W or L? Sadly, today, I think that's probably going to be an L because, of course, they've gone ahead and released a Galaxy Opal one. Um, but I don't know, maybe he's still going to be around the same price. It shouldn't really affect the price of him because he's so, so, wor so much worse um so yeah i don't know how much did you say you picked him up for um you picked him up for 13k and yeah, let's have a look at his cheapest buy now at the moment so yeah there's quite a few up for around the similar price so i don't think that's the best investment to be fair i'll probably say just cash out uh maybe in a day or two next up we have got lamar hey jd i just want to say keep up the great content thank you very much i finally went 12 and 0 and i hope you go 12 and 0 very soon I have done so, Lamar. I have done so. I've got Galaxy Opal T Mac. I was thinking about selling him if he gets to 600k. Do you think Pink Diamond Tracy McGrady is still good now? Absolutely. Pink Diamond Tracy McGrady is still an incredible card. And to be fair, if T Mac hits 600k, I'll probably sell him back as well because that will still be making about 100k profit on that card. So if he does 600, hit 600k, I will be doing the same as well. Next up, we've got Reese. JD is late now a good center to get for around 25k. Mostly run pick and roll and pick and pop with 21 delay. No, I don't really think he is because he is pretty damn slow, not going to lie. Uh, Leitner just doesn't really do it for me. It's 25k, you can just about pick up a bam, bam out of bio, I think. Or is he like 30 to 40k? Let's have a look at his price. So he is around 35k, so you can't quite afford him. But if you can stretch your budget out a little bit more, pick this guy up right here, Dino Raja, 40k. Go and get him and you will not regret it. That card is absolutely insane. Nico says, should I complete the set for Mark Eaton? Absolutely not. Do not lock in sets. Such a bad idea. When they keep dropping, like, I mean, last week or a couple of weeks ago, it was the uh, Galaxy Opal KG. Then it was Carl Anthony Towns. Literally within a week or so, these cards are just getting outdated now. We've got a shack. Like, it is ridiculous. So don't lock in sets, in my opinion. Next up, we've got Big Chungus says, Copped two Pink Diamond Magics for 55k each. What do you think his price will go back up to? Before the packs came out, he was at about 120k, I believe. So I can easily see him pulling back up to about the 80 to 90k mark, in my opinion. Next up, we have got um, we have got Eldad. Hey JD, keep up the good work. Is Magic for 320k a good investment? I think so. That's basically what I paid for mine, and I do think he will go up to that 400k mark. Next up, we have got Ben. Hey JD, loving the vids. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. I'm slowly upgrading my squad. Who would you go for, Levine, or is a lack of upgrade of Unpluckable too much of a turnoff in terms of picking up him out of the Galaxy Opal Token reward market? I would definitely say it is a turnoff. I don't think he is incredible. You saw in the gameplay where I used him in the You Pick I Play series, he did get ripped quite a lot. I just don't think he is that good. Maybe pick up Galaxy Opal Bradley Beal instead. Next up, Patrick picked up Galaxy Opal T Mac for 450k. Is that a W or an L? And do you expect his price to go back up to 600k? Yes, I definitely, definitely do. Next up, Mirza, which Galaxy Opal reward shall I get? I already have Levine and Smith. Not going to lie, you should hold on to your tokens. If I hit 700 tokens or 750 tokens now, I'm going to hold on to them. I'm not going to be wasting them on these cards that are in there at the moment because they should update it again before the year is over. Well, they'll definitely update it again before the year is over. 
Jimmy says, do you think the Opal Magic, Pink Diamond Magic, and Pink Diamond AD are good investments with the new content that came out today? Yeah, I definitely think so. Opal Magic is still around 300k, or if you can get it for 300k, then it is worth it. And the Pink Diamond Magic and AD, if you can get them for about 60k, again, I do think that is a good idea. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video, guys. I will keep an eye on Mo Bamba's price because, like I said... I reckon this card is going to be dirt cheap, and I think it's going to be a really good investment. But I'm not going to tell you guys to do that just yet. I will wait until probably tomorrow when hopefully there's been hundreds more added to the auction house. He should come down to, I reckon it's going to be about discard value. I'm not going to lie, he should be around one to 2,000 MT. And if he is, I think that's going to be a great investment. But we'll wait to see on that one. So that's going to do it for to the second episode of the day, guys. Absolutely ridiculous. We added in Galaxy Opal Will, and they drop a Galaxy Opal Shack. Unreal. So that's it for today's video, guys. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.